In this video, you will learn how to install Turtle library in the Visual Studio Code editor. And do hit the like button if you find this video useful. Now, the prerequisite for this installation is that you need to have this Visual Studio Code and the Python installed into your system. But if you do not have the Python installed, then I have already created a separate video for that and you would find the link of that video in the description below. So once we have the Visual Studio and the Python installed, we will open that Python project in Visual Studio Code for which we want to install Turtle library. And for that we will click on this file, then click on this open and here we will navigate to the location where our project is present. So for me it is present inside the downloads folder. So I will quickly go to the downloads, then projects and here I will select this turtle project and finally click on this open. Now before installing turtle we will create a virtual environment for this opened project because it is recommended to have a separate virtual environment for each of the python project. So we will also create the virtual environment first and after that only we will install the turtle library inside the created virtual environment. But in case you already have the virtual environment for your project then you can skip the creation part and directly activate the environment and after that you can install the turtle library inside that activated environment. So to create the virtual environment first we will open the terminal and for that we will click on this terminal then here we will select this new terminal. So our terminal is opened now and in this terminal now we will type python 3 space minus m space venv space and now we will type the name of the virtual environment which we want to create. So let's say this is my env. So this command is for mac systems but in case you are using windows then you would see the command on screen. Now we will hit enter to execute the command and once this command is executed successfully we will see this my env folder which is created inside our project folder and this my env folder will have all the necessary scripts and libraries in it. Now we will activate this created environment and for that we will write source space my env forward slash bin forward slash activate. Now again this command is for macOS and for windows you would see the command on screen. Now we will hit enter. And as soon as the command is executed, we will see this my env within these brackets, which is the indication that this particular environment is currently active. Now finally, we will install the turtle library in this activated virtual environment and for that we will type pip3 space install space python turtle. And once this is installed, we will see this message of successful installation. Now to verify the installation, let's print all the libraries that are currently installed in the current activated environment. So for that we will run this command which is pip space list. So this will list down all the packages which are installed in the current activated environment. And here we will see this python turtle library as well which has this particular version. Now we will write a small python script which will verify whether this turtle library is installed properly or not. So first we will create a python file and for that we will click on this new file icon here. Let's now give the name of the file. So let's say this is main.py. So we have created this main.py inside our project folder. So make sure to create this file inside the project folder only not in the my env folder. And now in this file, first of all, we will import the turtle module. So we will write import then turtle. Now we will initialize a new drawing window. So we will write turtle dot screen. Let's now assign this object to a variable. So let's say this is screen. Now we would want to keep the window open until we click inside that window. So for that we will write screen dot exit on click. Let's now save this file using command s and now to run this program we will again come to the terminal and type python space main dot py. 
so the code is executed successfully and we have got this window as well so now let me know in comments if this video was useful to you and make sure to hit the like button so here we have got this window which means the turtle library is installed properly and we can use this in any python code now and to close this window we can click anywhere on this window so let me click here so you noticed that as i clicked on this the window is closed automatically